Hello there, this is Patricia from Pinky's World and this week I'm making a few um, wee thank you gifts to send out and this is one of my ideas that I came up with and it's um, it holds a wee bar of chocolate I made it to look like a wee fancy purse, like a wee pocket purse and it has a belly band which slides off and inside the packet you get a nice bar of chocolate so it just fits all perfectly, it just uses one sheet of 6 by 6 inch paper and I've gone with the new in colours papers. Because um, I picked up all the in colours cards, papers and ink pads. So I wanted to have a wee play. Um, the two stamps that I'll show you the papers. This is the six inch by six inch papers, and they are beautiful. We're getting some lovely colours. Um, that's all the shades of the lovely in colours and the fancy names, which I find hard to say, but they are lovely. Some of them have checks and spots. Some of them have like a wee flower and stripes. So a perfect wee bunch of papers to play with, in my opinion. Uh, the two stamp sets that I'm going to use for this, I have used the Alpha Best Sakura stamp set. It really has lovely wee things in it. It just reminded me of wee buckles for a satchel, a purse type thing. And it has all the alphabets and numbers. And the one for the flower I got from Happiness Abounds, um, these lovely flowers. And I've just used the, the ink itself to colour it with my Wink of Stella pen and some water. So it's very easy and I'll show you how I did it. And the wee tiny bow I have added is from the Crinkle, isn't it Crinkled? Uh, crinkled Seam Binding Ribbon. So that's where I got that from. So we're going to make another one now, uh, and this time I'm changing up the colour. I'm going to go with the Orchid Oasis. So you take your piece, your 6 inch by 6 inch sheet of paper, and cut it down to 5 and a quarter inches. Um, or 5 and 2 eighths. We're working at eighths because one of the, wee, the, the thickness of my chocolate is 3 eighths, so I have to go... Uh, with three with eighths so i hope that's not too confusing for you but it is easy one inch is eight eighths so just work that way right so where were we? this has been cut down to six inches by uh, five and two eighths keep this wee bit here this is going to be your belly band so don't lose it so just need a, to do a wee bit of scoring we're going to start with our six inch side and we're just going to score it at two and two eighths so two inches and two eighths and then we're going to score it at two and five eighths so just count over one two three you'll see it's just the next notch after two and a half inches so that's two and five eighths and then we're going to go to four and seven eighths so that's the last notch just before five inches and that's that side done. So spin it round to the shorter side. And we're going to go at 3 eighths. So just count 3 notches. Notches, sorry. There. Spin it right round so we can do 3 on the opposite side of that. So just 1, 2, 3. And that's your um, scoring done. So we're just going to fold up. I'm keeping the wee flurry side to the outside this time. And letting the stripes be the belly band. So I forgot to do my top scoring. I have to add another score into that, which was five and two eighths. I actually have it written down, just didn't read it out. So Put that back into your six inch side and where you went to the four and seven eighths was your last one. Go in now and do five and two eighths. So it's five and a quarter. Because we need a wee cover for the top part of it. So just fold that down. And then we're going to do a wee tiny bit of cutting. So your chocolate bar is going to fit in this wee pocket here. This is going to close over the top and that makes you wee purse. So we just need to cut these edges off and the sides. So, scissors. We don't need the very top parts where the 
closure is going to be. So cut right down to the second score line and then just chop it in a wee bit. And then we're you have the two lines for this wee center piece here, we're going to cut into those. You know, they're hard to see, they're even hard for me to see. And I don't want to get it wrong, I'm going to give it a wee crease just to make sure I'm in the right place. Trim those slightly, even the way one. Trim that one in. Do the same on the opposite side. And we're cutting away this piece here. I'll we'll just score that so now hopefully you see it better. So now you can see your score line better. So just cut in slightly and then we're going to go straight up through those two creases. And turn this round to, you've got your wee closure at the top and this is where the chocolate's going in. So we want to add a wee notch. I'm using the two inch circular punch, just a very small part of it. Center it as best you can. And then we're just going to glue things up. You could round your corners if you felt like it. Um, I just keep it square. So I'm just using wet glue. I'm actually going to put these two together first. No, I'm going to put these two together first. <laughs> I, want, I want this outer edge going around the back so we can't see it. So glue this one to this wee notch. Just a wee tiny bit of glue. Tiny bit of glue. Set it up nice and straight. At this stage you could put your chocolate bar in if it was going to help you. Those chocolate bars that I'm using, they're out of little and they're really nice chocolate. And I think you get a five pack for a couple of pounds. So they're not going to break the bank, but they'll say a nice wee thank you. So I'll just show you it. Fits in there snug as a bug. It's just perfect and it helps you to straighten up your line. So now we want to add glue to this section and this section. And we'll just glue them over. I'm just using Tomboy glue. You could use your um, sticky tape, um, tape runner, whatever you like using yourself. As long as it has a good hold, you should do the thing. So that is that. The closure then comes over, and that is more or less your wee bag made. So that wee bit that you kept for your from your last piece, turn it over now, and we're going to use it like this. So I wanted to grind the back, and I want to put the join where. Um, you're not going to see it. You know, it'll be under your flower, hopefully. So work that out when you're, I'm not even scoring it. I'm just wrapping it because I want it to be able to, it needs to slide off over the top of the wee buckles as well as the flower. So try and keep it like so. And when you're happy, then just put a dab of glue on the end of it. And just make sure it's all lined up nice. Now we're going to stamp our wee buckles next.
and you just need a piece of scrap white card and choose the buckle that matches your um thing i'm actually going to go with stripes this time because we're using a wee stripey paper the last time i used the spots because we had spotty paper so it's good you can choose these and there's also the plain one there you can stamp um, I think it my last week's tutorial showed you how I used that to put to personalize we gifts. So get your ink out. Just stamp to them. I do need that, so I'll leave that open. But you need your wee matching punch, this wee best label punch. If you buy the bundle of the Alpha Best, you get this wee punch with it, which just punches everything out perfect. So just take your time and line it up. So you're getting equal amounts of white around it. catching on the end of that. Talk about shaky hands. There we go. Two goes done. So they are going to sit at either side of the flower. So I want to do the flower first so that I know that I've got them in the right place. So I have the flower out and all and I need a piece of Card, clean card preferably, to stamp it onto. So just ink up the flower. There's a nice wee variety of flowers in that um, happiness abound. So we're just using this one hopefully. Excuse me, and then we'll want to colour it in. I got a lot more ink on my stamp the last time, so I'm just going to Dip the end in and use it. I'm going to squirt a wee bit of water. It's just a wee container of water that I keep. And then just get your wink of Stella brush. And we're dipping it into the water. And the water went there. And a wee bit of ink. And then just brush it from the centre of the flower out. Not really getting enough water here. So just work your way around the flower. Picking up water and ink as you go. And it gives it a lovely wee um, glittery tinge too. Just don't go the whole way out, just go like I'm doing just part of your flower at this at this moment and this one here I'm just going to go along with the bottom of it so that's where I want it darker same over here and then the bottom ones I'm going to go this way I think I need another wee dip of paint or ink and just drag it Now, at this stage, you want to go back in with just the ink so that you can add a, a good bit of depth around the places you want to add it. And if you don't, then just skip this bit. There's just some places I want a wee bit darker. And from here on in, you're just going to really use the tiniest bit of water again. So I'm squirting it here. Just 
oops, a wee wee puddle, a wee tiny puddle there. And you could uh, clean off your brush if you think there's too much ink left in it and then go in and start lifting the ink where you put it and then spread it up to the top part. If you're not getting enough, go into the wee bit that's left over and add it. But I don't want it really dark and I want to leave a fraction of white. So just keep doing that. So it's just that nice wee paler colour on the outer edge. You need more water than you need ink. And if you've picked up too much along the way, I think I just did there, you can clean off your brush or just continue on. It's a bit messy there. Sometimes you can pick up enough just from the previous ink if it hasn't dried. And that is more or less your flower done. You can touch up here and there if you think you're not happy. I could be at this all day, but I'm going to leave it now. And what I want to do is cut it out. So I'm just going to cut around, leaving a tiny wee white edge to keep it bright. And I'm going to add a wee bit of fine layer there just to that wee stem. And then I'm going to chop around it. So that's it cut out. Um, you could take your scissors at this point and just curl the edge. So if you want it to sit up, if you want it to sit flat, then just leave it. And then you want to be able to put that wee flower there. So if you get yourself dimensionals or sticky squares or something of some kind that you can raise it up on, then plunk it on the the actual belly band so that you're sure you're going to get it where you want it and then pop that on there and if it's dry I would go in with the um, chalk pen and just go to the wee black um my oh god I can't remember what you call them the wee tips of the inside of the flower and add a wee tiny bit of white just to pick up on it. Uh, it might fade into it if it's still dry, wet but it can go back in. Now I've done the crinkle bow already I've put it on to um, two tiny forks if you haven't got one of these wee um, things you can see it broke that one use a fork a household fork and go to the four outsides and then go up the middle and that'll make a wee tiny tiny bow and you just want to add a a glue dot. My glue dots are very old and if yours is the same, give them a heat with your heat gun. Just a wee tiny quick heat. Do you see it moving and it'll reignite the stickiness? Hopefully. I did do this with the last one. Yeah, oh yeah, it's very sticky. So you should be able to get your wee bit of ribbon onto that. It hasn't dried up already. You pull that off and the other side's not as sticky as you want. It should be this one because I give it a good heat. It's not overly sticky. I'm going to give it another wee quick. Oops. I don't want to heat my ribbon too. So that should be sticky enough to plunk there. Trim off your wee bits. And then we'll need to go in and do these. So they're simple. Just get your bit of sticky square or whatever you have. I could do with three discs working here. So I'm just using this wee tiny left over here. 
I'm putting, I'll see, I'll put it a little less at the bottom. At the bottom and then just pick it up. Line it up. Um, make sure this is in the center. And then you're just going to close that down and see where you'd like it. Right there's fine. I'm trying to do the same with the other side. You could use your ruler going across to mark a line if you were worrying about getting it too far apart. And just use it as your rough guide. And there it is finished. At last. It was really it was very enjoyable to make. Give it a wee go. Um, I think the, the papers are just beautiful. They're really nice. And that wee flower is lovely. I think. Only new set. So I'll go and answer this phone. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch us all again later. Bye.